Wait, people are deleting Uber? They did what? Hashtag delete Uber was trending on Twitter due to Uber's decision to stop surge pricing during the ACLU's backing of the protests against Trump for his attempted executive order to ban Muslims entering the country from seven primary Muslim countries. In response to Trump's immigration ban, the New York City taxi drivers announced that there would be no pickups from the JFK airport between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. this past Saturday. In response to the increase in the demand for rides, Uber and Lyft both had surge pricing in effect, as they always do in any area at any given time when the demand is this high. So basically that means that the surge pricing that was in effect just naturally can go into effect. But later that night, Uber tweeted out that they would be stopping surge prices for rides going to and from the JFK airport. This was immediately received as support for Trump's ban on Muslims, and thousands of people began to delete their Uber app in response to Uber's decision to cut surge pricing. Okay, so let's backtrack for a second. First off, I agree with the protests and that the ban should be lifted, but Uber might have been unintentionally thrown under the bus and might not be as at fault as some people believe. The ban affects much more than just the JFK airport. Uber's decision to stop charging surge prices was originally looked at as undercutting the Lyft and taxi drivers, but in reality, Uber was doing this not to make money, but in order to meet the demand. While it is true that Uber could have profited from this if they were able to somehow pick up more people and drop them off at the airport, but let's remember that Uber still had the same amount of cars driving the people, and they were using the same roads as the taxi drivers and Lyft drivers, which means that all in all, Uber would still be in the same traffic as everyone else. Uber's decision to stop charging surge prices resulted in it taking longer for people to get rides as opposed to it being shorter. In addition to this, Uber tweeted out that they would stop charging surge prices after 7 p.m. on Saturday, which means that taxi drivers were already back to driving people to and from the airport. Uber's CEO, Travis Kalanick, is on the economic advisory board of Trump, along with the living legend, Elon Musk. Kalanick has said that he will talk to Trump about his concerns with the ban when he meets with them this Friday. The majority of the tech industry has already voiced their opinions against the ban, and that's a really good thing because that's a lot of people with a lot of money to spend. Companies such as Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, and Uber have all stated that without immigration, they never would have been able to grow and prosper. It is clear that the tech industry, as long with many Americans, do not support Trump's decision, and closing doors will only slow down progress in a time when we need it more than ever. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Uber was really in the wrong here, or did they just get thrown under the bus? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.